Hey, good afternoon, folks. This is Stacey Warner, Big Paul Doggin here. Hey, I got my son, Ethan. We're fixing to do a little training with Pepper. We gotta make sure she's not gun shy. So uh, I've got some uh, equipment that I've used on my other dogs. Seems like it works pretty good, so I'm gonna show you what those are. These are the caps that I will be using. They got different strengths. Uh, my son right here will be using them. I got hearing protection. Small little Derringer I've had for 30 years. And uh, of course, hearing protection for my son, because they are loud. Come out with a little Derringer, they're pretty loud. So <clears throat> they work perfectly for training my dogs. Uh, Ethan's gonna mix them up. He's gonna put a brown one and a green one in their different strengths. And we're gonna walk out there. Me and Pepper's gonna walk out and we're just gonna mess around with each other. Let her chase and stuff, and then when my son, I tell him to give him the shot, he's gonna fire one off. Make sure she's secure with it so she won't run off and hide and tuck her tail like some dogs can do. So here we get to going. All right, well, what I do, okay, what I do, I stay quite a little bit of distance away from my son. As my son there is probably about, I don't know, I'm gonna say probably 30, 40 yards away. So I'll give him the sign. I will just mess with Pepper, just let her play. Got some treats in my bag for her, so we just get started. Get the old cat. She ain't gonna do nothing. So as Pepper's playing, not paying attention, I'll give my son the signal. Give it a shot. Then I reward her. Give her a little, little reward. Just tell her everything's okay. Where everything's okay. Everything's good. I keep her in the screen. We'll do that a couple of times. Give her a treat. Give her a treat as she reloads. And my son reloads. Just give her a little bit. This time we'll walk a little bit closer. A little bit closer, a little bit louder. So. Closer, I call her to me. Come on, Pip. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Just reinforce, reassure that everything's okay. Nothing's going to get her. She's just a big old puppy. She's doing real good. Let her play around again. Throw some treats. <laughs> Throw some treats out there. Let her sniff the ground. See so if use that nose. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Let her know everything's okay. Everything's just fine. Give her a little treat. All right, as my son reloads, we're gonna get a little closer. Let's see how she does. When I begin when I was a puppy, just to let y'all know, when I started as a puppy, I banged pans, clapped my hands. Uh, the kids got little bitty cat guns you can get from Walmart. I would just little eight ring cat guns. I'd shoot over them just to just get them used to that, that, that sudden sound. Never get no firecrackers, never shot any rifles around her. Make sure she was secure so I didn't have to do all that. Because you, you know, because you're going to shoot a high power rifle over them. Some people shoot 22 Creed Moors. I shoot 22 250s, 223s. Oh, well, that's even better. Tepper's by my son. Let's see what she does close. Good girl. She's getting really good. She didn't flinch at all. Let's do another one. Just look, see what's going on. She did exceptionally well. Did real good. Good job, girl. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, we're gonna do one more round. We're gonna be really close to Ethan. Once Ethan gets the get the bullets in there, I'm gonna cover my one ear so it won't hurt my ears. But also, if you don't notice on my rifle, I have a suppressed rifle too, so I don't shoot over my dogs without a suppressor. It helps with their low frequency hearing. So, all right, Ethan, go ahead. Did 
green plants. She's looking really good. One more time. Didn't care, don't worry. Give her a treat for a good job. Give her some loving. Tell her everything's good. So, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next round. We'll see what we got. Appreciate you watching.